Welcome to my blog. Today we're going to talk about how to be the creative force in your own life. Dang it, Ma! I'm trying to make a video here. This is supposed to be professional. Will you please take out the brownies? The timer's been going off for like 10 minutes. You're not recording this, right? Right? We're not? No? Good. So as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. We're going to talk about how to be the creative force in your own life. Now, there are some invisible structures that kind of take place that we're never taught about. Um, we do things, we hit a wall, we end up back where we were, and we think something is wrong with us. Something is, you know, we're, we're, we're not disciplined enough, or we don't have the willpower, we're not meant for success, or, oh, I'm hitting some imaginary wall, or my subconscious beliefs are getting in the way. <clears throat> and it's none of that. And because we're, we're, we're never taught what's really going on, we blame ourselves. And so I want to talk to you something about what's called structures. And it's, it's the, the concepts come from one of the most original thinkers of our time, Robert Fritz, in his book, The Path of Least Resistance. Uh, I recommend that to no end. You should get that, and everybody born on this planet should be reading that book. But let me explain to you what structures are. They might clear some things up that can help us be creative and create our own lives. There are structures in our lives and at play, which is kind of, it's hard to explain. It's because it's invisible structures. It's almost like a, an energetic pattern. Um, and there are two that, that take place in our world. One is oscillation. Okay, oscillation goes from one end to the next to back to back again. That's oscillation, like a fan, an oscillating fan. Pretend that's a fan. It goes back and forth, or a rocking chair. Okay, a rocking chair. Forgive my crude rocking chair. A rocking chair goes back and forth. It oscillates, right? It oscillates back and forth. It's not meant to go anywhere, right? It goes back and forth. The fan goes back and forth. It's not meant to take you to the mini mart. It goes back and forth. That's called oscillation. I don't even know how to spell it, by the way. Oscillation. Now, sometimes you want to oscillate. You want to create things in your life that do oscillate. However, most of the time we don't. We want to go forward, don't we? And we're stuck in an oscillating pattern, and we don't understand why. Why we're going back and forth, why we're stuck in the middle. Now, let me explain what oscillation is a little bit more to you. Let's say your current reality is, let's say you're hungry. And now remember, this is going to be oscillation. I'm going to show you how this works. So naturally, to resolve something, everything has tension. If I say, what's your name, that has tension because it's waiting for a response, right? And so all of the structures, all reality, there, there is something comes into play called tension, and it needs to, to respond. So if you're hungry, the natural response to that is eat, of course, right? Well, what if you're overweight and you want to lose weight, right? So let's say you're overweight. What's, what's the response to that? Where does that go? That goes to diet or not eat, right? So what happens in these structures is that you're hungry, but you eat, but you want to lose weight because you're overweight, so you diet or you don't eat. So then you get hungry, and so you eat. But then you want to lose weight because you're overweight, and it's, it's an endless cycle, right? It's oscillation. It goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is what oscillation does, right? And this is actually called structural conflict. Because remember, our structure is oscillation, and this is conflict, because you have two different things going on of what you want, and they're conflicting with each other. And so that leads an endless cycle. Now, now normally, what, what are we told? Oh, I have no willpower. Or, oh, I, I'm terrible. My subconscious beliefs are, are, are stopping me. I'm not built for success. All these stories come into play. And really, there is nothing wrong with this except for the, the structure is meant to oscillate and go back and forth. Okay, now let me explain a little bit more how this works.
This is Bob. This is Bob's current reality. This is where Bob wants to go. This is his vision. This is his current reality. Now, if Bob, let's say Bob uh, is, let's use the overweight strategy again, the, the overweight example. So this is his current reality of being overweight. He wants to hit this weight over here. Now, each of these realities, are the, they have, let's say they have a rubber band attached to, to Bob. So the current reality of being overweight pulls him back to, to that wall of being overweight. Now his vision of what he wants has a rubber band too. He wants to be 170 pounds. And so that has a rubber band pulling him towards his vision. He wants to lose weight. He wants to be the ideal weight, right? And so what happens to Bob? He goes and moves towards his vision. He diets, he, he runs, he exercises, he, he watches what he eats, everything. And now the fact is that his current reality of being overweight is what was motivating him. So now the rubber band towards his vision is a little bit slacked, right? Because he's now closer to his vision, right? So that rubber band is not pulling him quite as hard, but now his, his reality of being overweight is getting stretching even more, right? And so that literally pulls him back to the center again. Until now, he's right back where he started, right in the center. Does that make sense? And now Bob will come up with all these different kind of stories of what's wrong with him. Nothing is wrong with Bob. He is in an oscillating structure. That's what's meant to happen. It keeps you centered. It keeps you in the center. But you don't always want to be in the center, okay? Now let's talk about the structure that we actually do want most of the time. And this is an advancing structure. Or another word you could say is resolving. It resolves. Okay, let's say you have a canvas and you're going to paint something on it. Well, you start from nothing, you eventually you paint it until it's complete. Okay, that is a structure too. That's the creative structure. And so that actually resolves. It advances. It starts from nothing and something is created and it resolves and then you move on to the next creation. That is an advancing structure. Okay, now the concept here is we want certain things in our life. And the oscillating structure will keep you going back and forth. And so we need to replace that oscillating structure with a more powerful structure, an advancing structure that gets us to where we want to go. Okay? Now, if you're getting this, then some light bulbs might be going off because you're thinking, wow, wow, how, how can I get that advancing structure? Okay? Now, we're not going to talk about all those details in this video. I just want to kind of get this concept to you because it's, it's a powerful force in our lives that we're, we, we are not taught. So again, just to recap, the structures are oscillation and advancing or resolving, okay? Those are the two different structures that influence our lives. Now, let's take another example of exactly how a structure works. Let's say you're in a house. You see Bob go in a house. Now, Bob walks around that house in the pattern that the house is created, is built, the, the structure of that house, right? So if he, he's not gonna go through the window, he's gonna go from the front door. So he walks up the stairs, he goes into his bed, he goes into his bathroom, he goes into his kitchen. You can literally make the house invisible and just by seeing Bob walk throughout that structure, you can map out exactly what that structure is. Oh, there's the stairs here, there's a bathroom here, there's a kitchen there, oh, there's the bed right there. Even if everything was invisible because structure determines behavior. And I, I, I want to repeat that because that's, that's, that's powerful. Structure determines behavior. Okay? So if, you're, if, if you have an oscillating structure and you keep failing or winding back up where you were, there's nothing wrong with it. You could put Donald Trump into a structure of somebody who's poor and he would still be bouncing back and forth. Okay, there's nothing wrong with you. It's the structure of oscillation. We want an advancing structure or resolving structure, something that starts and then resolves and completes. Okay, 
And that's what we're going to get into more in later videos. I, I don't want to overload your brain too much because even this, the concept of structures is probably so new to you. It's, it's quite radical thinking and uh, it rules our lives. Structure determines behavior. And because we're not taught this, we blame ourselves. We'll, we'll, buy, we'll buy programs to re-brainwash our subconscious, right? Because, oh, I have a, a fear of making money or something happened to me before I was five. The truth is, you, you, all that, none of that matters. Your beliefs that are subconscious or not don't really matter when it comes to truth, okay? When you understand how structure works, you don't have to have amazing self-esteem. Most people who are successful, they don't have huge self-worth, self-esteems, okay? That's not necessary before you succeed. But once you understand the structures in your life, then you can create an advancing structure to get what you want. And we'll talk more about that in, in the coming videos, but I just wanted to embed this into your brain a little bit and have you thinking about this. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Dang it, Ma! I'm trying to make a video here! <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs>